Cell membranes, they are two-dimensional dissolutions of oriented lipids and proteins. The matrix is made of the cell uh, lipid bilayer. Cell membranes are made out of lipids. The matrix is made from the lipids. And then there are proteins embedded uh, in the uh, bilayer. Now, in the last two or three decades, the proteins have reached uh, most of the attention. One third of the genome, of our genome, encodes four membrane proteins embedded in the bilayer. And uh, many proteins, other proteins, spend part of their lives on either side of the membrane interacting uh, uh, with the membranes. So many of the functions in our cells are membrane localized. Now, um, the lipids have more and more come into the background. But in fact, of course, they are as important. Membranes are made out of proteins and lipids. So um, take the lipids. We have the, the glycerolipids, sphingolipids, and the sterols. And these, if you look at them more closely, then take the glycerolipids. They are very complex. So you have the glycerol molecule, you have the head group, and then you have the two fatty acids. So over 1,000 individual lipid species can be analyzed. And we look at this uh, complexity, we see that there are several head groups. There are uh, uh, these fatty acids in SN1 and SN2 position. They are of different length. They are, have different uh, uh, numbers of double bonds. And they can also be linked to the glycerol with ester or alkyl ether or alkyl ether linkages. So this makes this whole uh, complexity. Also, the sphingolipids are complex. They are not based on glycerol. They are ceramide-based. We have uh, a sphingosine with a fatty acid amide bonded to the sphingosine. This is the ceramide, the hydrophobic backbone of these lipids. And then we have head groups, phosphocholine, like we have in, uh, um, in, in phospholycholine and the glycerolipids, but also many, many uh, glycan head groups, like you see here, the sulfatide, the ganglioside, GM3, or the Forsman uh, glycolipid.